for, so I think we'll go ahead and begin the planning board meeting for today. And uh, first on the agenda is approval of January 17, 2017 minutes, and you should have a copy of it in your packet there. I'll make a motion we approve. All in favor, or any second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. It's, uh, we're beginning a discussion of early planning for a possible river district, and we're going to have it open to the public that someone wants to speak before we start, but we really don't have a direction yet until we cover today's minutes and figure out how we want to plan this out. Um, I'm going to let Justin take off because he's the one who put this all together over the past few months and he's got the packet for us. Yeah, so um, since we're going to present it to the town board, what it currently is is a rezoning petition and a text amendment for the EEO. And uh, in your packet, you <coughs> see a rough draft of the River District overlay was proposed for the draft to be in section 152 over 42 um, in the UEO is a section that is currently desired for just future sections to be filled in in the UEO. Um, what I gave today is you see the first you'll see the rough travel of the uh, now you see the area that's got a little blue like district hash through it. That's the river purpose. Right. It's the same layer purpose. used on the, the statement and the uh, the sign of goals, which is the area kind of that we don't have to find goals in the flood flood districts, but we don't have any other overlay districts. No, no building, so, which is area pretty much it's the bank of the river or uh, some of the areas we kind of have. <coughs> like, um, sure. And then when you see one this, kind of this you can see my cursor here. You see this blue, it's kind of underneath. Then below, that, you'll start yeah, after you see the goals, just the flood six flag. goals, you'll see uh, uh, starting with A, the uh, requirement, permitted uses, yeah, and so such. Sure. Is, is the flood plane going to go down? Flood plane is just visible. a draft, you can build a draft, preliminary, up for discussion, uh, nothing on an set in stone, and building it's kind of for us to go through, see if we think the floodway we, you can't build. Flood way is the only way you can't build. Flood, it took out. flood way is so you have to do the whole process. And that includes the map as well. Uh, the map is yeah, just a, kind of a starting point. Uh, <coughs> for <coughs> for <coughs> so um, building will make you. The, the, now, the, um, starting with me, we're, we're very close through the standards that are in the FEMA is yeah, it's a little bit of your feet. Though we that, very close that design is currently out. in our UDO now. There's a, if you're in, in our UDO, we, we have the entry the requirements of FEMA and like Bell and Jury. If you decide to build it, it's a tax bill that we never established. But in the flood way, there's no building. Never. The only way yes. you can get a flood, you can build a flood way, is you have to have a no rise certification framework. Uh, Saying that what you're building is not going to cause, which is, which is an engineer's minor change to that. So that could be so possible. Uh, Costly. Costly, it could be. My thought was the reason I asked is like the highlands are right there, and those are really long parcels that go all the way to the river. Right now, they're all right next to the highland road. But three quarters of the property is in the floodway in the blue back there, so you can almost redevelop all of those properties to front the riverside. And you can have two sides to each one of those properties. Have more time to. The one thing with the that you're talking about is a lot of that, there's some wetland in there. So you get it to have to get some Army Corps of Engineers. Is it beaver wetland or real wetland? Because that's, that's where the airport used to be. Uh, yeah. so it used to be dry. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I wouldn't want to quote out on which one, if it's beaver or just natural that, wetland. That is something that if we could just sort Initial that out, draft information for us to start people who have been one of interest in the well around and then we can have good access to that type of information, including the board with their own projects, a reason for they understood what they were up against for late so there's a big unknown there. Is we should probably identify all the players that you know, have any interest in, in this too. Um, 
while they were such as the main street conservation the, group, any profile, property owners down around the, the area. Um, you get, you get by. Or you get several years ago. Milwaukee the initiative group. There's different groups that have I already have started clients projects in the area. We should probably touch base been. with them and start talking to them about it. Okay. They think it would be part of the shut him down because he's building as many people broke the used to be a field. He broke all the way. So they reclaimed the land. We should schedule all your basically the next weekend to come in and start hammering out some of our what we pick up over the next. So that's what I was thinking we do. And then after that, open up the eyes of the community, community with what's available more. And the, the more we get by, yeah, but I don't think from the town looking, they're coming up with a lot of money to do it. They are already a base resource. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. information yeah. short track for us. Yeah. And also, yeah. even a much more water, water quality for our yeah. uh, Dr. Mike from the Soil Talk some water conservation prior to. And Mike said he would be happy to talk to us sometime about some of the programs that they can. Get There's currently the state. 106 um, in the map is a uh, map that I've got drawn. The grant program that you have I've got wells or if it's natural spring for um, farm animals, the area that is currently keeping cattle out of the river for the overland. Yeah, I've got 162 parcels. Did you say my three now. There's a lot of studies on the effects of having cattle in, in the stream or the river or how it's harmful for the river. Um, um, people Street down the uh, uh, riverbank abatement to mm -hmm. uh, here it is. Um, let me read this to you right now. Oh. This is from the uh, and the uh, North Carolina so Farm you know, Extension's website on the developing offstream water sources. Um, like um, cattle access to streams, deeds, and rivers can lead to the degradation of they are the water. Cattle dams, banks, and pond streams, creeks, parcels, and, and rivers leading parcel D to increased erosion and uh, deposition of sediment into downstream waters. That can be changed. Uh, that can be deposited sediment may bury fish, amphibians, and insect eggs or larvae, decrease in productivity and the value of the water. Water, nutrients such as nitrous and phosphorus from the direct deposition of urine of feces may lead to unnatural enrichments of water. This enrichment is known, but it results in the rapid growth of water weeds and algae. Or um, yeah. <laughs> so that'd be great to have Mr. Brady. Yeah, he's he told me they have a program where it's, it's a, there's places and there are places that are in this district and I think Dave knows of one. One is kind of there's cattle there. And uh when well, cattle get into little Tennessee place and uh, that's gonna affect your water quality and it's a seventy five to twenty five grant program. There's lots of programs like that, that that he can talk more about that can help with this that people need to pay all these assets right you have put some pressure on them to what we're trying to do if this you know everything comes to fruition all this helping that water quality and stream Tommy Jenkins, he was a worker that certified on the entrepreneurial group. He could actually segue this into that to have additional information for the River District for assets and grants and things that might be Tommy might be able to get some information to take all this together. Water resources and economic benefits in places that aren't as information. All this is in charge of private grants or super grants in the town. Uh, we don't have a person per se, uh, but um, uh, I would Doug probably... Johnson over at Soil and Water yeah. is an excellent grant writer, and he writes for the Clean Water Management. You know, all of a sudden, it's something that's on large scale that's talking about the diagram. You see it in Paris and New York. I don't know who writes. I mean, he just is not there. We need someone that's look really look into grants for development. Overlay zoning, 
the ones that are with preliminary, the prohibited uses, which are generally the ones that are in there. There's just a few are uses that would potentially, if something bad happened, they would be they would they would cause harm to the river or. Um, like the asphalt plants. Yeah, that's probably just a plain old wrong application for the area. Yeah, you know, know some of the other ones that are, they're just something you might not want for the, that type of area. But I mean, they could be, you know, um, they could be took out, you know, like I mentioned at the town board meeting, low in a businesses, like mini warehouses, storage mm -hmm. units. Yeah. You know, that's not, there's no, you know, it's good for the property owner, but it doesn't. It doesn't draw anything. That's right. So um, we might even, at one point, even considering it could be great for high density housing, and as far as condominiums or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, without a sewer, you know, you follow what I'm saying? That would be a nice thing. That would bring some nice so, stuff. So it's not really directing people what to put on the area, but it's giving them good indication of what would work and. Segue into the River District. Don't discount uh, residential. And now I think this will tie in, this whole district ties in well to our uh, Bike Walk Franklin plan that we just adopted, the town board adopted. There's a lot of that. There's Greenway extensions and um, right. there's stuff we did about wayfinding and if um, wayfinding signs from that destination, complete streets. Um, there's some. Um, cutouts in there of what a complete street would look like. And that's kind of the same idea for this area with sidewalks, you know, sidewalks, trees, the shops, the whole area. So you've got something that's, um, that looks nice, you know. Over so the next month, uh, driving around these areas or walking down the greenway by these areas to get a good eyeball on it. Good yeah, you really, so many places you go out and get in behind and start looking, you start, you wouldn't know that, you know, some of the things that you can see there are oh, that close to a river. Yeah. yeah, Lakeside Drive, there's hardly any space there that's not wetlands mm -hmm. down by the boat dock and all that. Yeah. Interesting. So I don't think we have to do a motion on just no, having our next meeting. Well, well, the one last thing was in the back of your packet is you'll see some draft definitions. Um, those are just some rough draft definitions that I put in there for our uh, for the discussion. Because um, some, some of the uh, prohibited uses that we have, like uh, asphalt plants and chemical storage facilities, uh, we don't have a definition for those for those uses. So you see some uh, uses there, some definitions that I pulled from other zoning ordinances that I would look through, and uh, and those could be tweaked. You could look, you can look at those. And do your own research and decide you know you don't like that definition, you want to look at a different definition, but um what are our attorney look at So yeah, John will have to look over it as well. I'll tell him we'll have John tell me some meeting as well. Um when you go online and look up uh, different towns that have river districts and they post them all, they're they're similar to our rough outline to begin with. Well, what's wrong with that old gulf station? Somebody went by there. Of course, it's for bridge crew equipment now. But they get well, the done. It's, it's, yeah, it's a nice piece of well, property. They bought it. Who did? The bridge that DOT owns that. For the gas station? Yep. Yeah, where Jesse Rivas used on it. Really? Mm -hmm. really? Yeah, they bought it for equipment. It's just for office. office. It's I believe after the bridge is done, they'd probably mm -hmm. sell it mm -hmm. the, uh, back. They might not be much of it left by the time they're done. Well, I've only got a column space from the door with a cigarette store there. That's a nice little welcome station. Mm -hmm. tab. Um, restaurant, outdoor dining. Community yeah, looks going to be real important in this one. Boat rentals. More people we can pull into that. There you go. Dave, you want to say anything? There you go. 
Yeah, I just I think that you need to be able to, in good faith, tell property owners that whatever rights they're losing with this, I mean, there's some zoning in here that's going to restrict people's rights to their property, that they're going to gain some sort of advantage that the town or somebody's going to provide in this. I mean, it, it should be a net positive for everybody involved. It shouldn't just be stripping people's rights to use their land as they are right now. The town needs to offer something, ideas, grant funding, something like that, cows in the river. I mean, people have rights right now. If you're going to take them away, we need to make sure that they're compensated somehow, that this is going to work and it's actually going to help landowners and businesses. Mm -hmm. I prefer not to restrict okay. them anymore at all. In fact, open the zoning for more availability to it. I, I agree. Help, you know, I mean, in the, in the permitting process, help them know that they can build in the floodplain, not the floodway, that they can, you know, utilize both halves of their piece of property now, whereas before it, you know, was, was pretty useless. Yeah, I think there's been a general misunderstanding about the floodplain. Yeah. Who, who else besides uh, Mr. Breva would know about grants or funding that might be available for working in that kind of terrain? Uh, Mainspring, obviously. Mainspring. They, 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 they yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody on this, in the state that could help us, you know, do the track down? Exactly. Um, or just in the right direction? But. Yeah, well, maybe, uh, might be somebody, you know, part of the Congress or something. Yeah. I'm going to do some research. We, I was part of a, a downtown, well, downtown we were revitalization, but we did it, on top of that, we did a, a riverfront district. And we took a disgusting two edges of the river that went about three or four miles and just turned it into nothing but a beautiful, beautiful situation at this point. It's really sweet. Condominiums, restaurants, mm -hmm. cheeky little businesses, and it helped just revitalize the village. But there's a lot of history. It's a win-win. Down along the river, and the bike and greenways all down there. Yeah. Who's enjoying it? The dumpsters. Yeah, you want this to you want it to generate people to the river. Oh yeah. Not That's stop them from doing stuff. You want to bring people to the river. Let's build businesses. Let's have mm -hmm. a restaurant on the river. I mean, that would be fantastic. <coughs> well, that's the idea was with the, trying to improve the water quality. and Because, um, I mean, people that have lived here their whole life, I've lived here my whole life, people have always thought, Little Tennessee is just dirty. I don't want to go down there. And if, you, if we can clean it up and people know it's clean and it's safe, then, it's, then people are going to start wanting to go there more, you know. The, if the sediment's gone and the fish, and there's more fish and there's more activity for people to do, then it just it's just going to be more economic benefit across the board. Um, and that's the ultimate goal is to draw more in the area that everybody's proud of. It's a natural resource we're trying to attack, I believe. Yeah, that would be our best asset. One of our best assets. So over the next month, I guess, do our homework, talk to as many people as we can. We'll try to get Mr. Breedlove and maybe some of the larger track owners to come in and give us some more information that we could pool together. Looks like it might be a three or four month situation minimum. Yeah. That board did not want us to rush this. They wanted us to take our time. Good job. It's up here with this. I'm curious. I'm not trying to. You know, I just put. I didn't know if it got recommended at a town board retreat or from the town board. You see a lot of towns like Asheville, Greenville, Knoxville, all trying to get their river districts to be a special location for the community. What was once looked at as industrial. For access. You now it's 150 years later and it's all different. You mentioned art, Justin, and mm -hmm. I think in the newspaper it says something about art. I think that would be fantastic to have sculpture art along the Greenway mm -hmm. in this district. Something like what Cashers did with their downtown park that was a swamp at one time. They have, I don't know if it's local sculptors that are doing it or if the town's buying them, 
but they've got some really neat art along the walkway and the pathways that's that would be an asset to the town, the Greenway, and you know, this there's, district. There's been some discussion with the Women's History Trail. Barbara's working on them, and maybe having some art and some sculptures of some significant figures. Um, Main Springs, you know, going to do some with, with those tanks. With, they were last told they were going to do some murals on those tanks. So um, we can see some more art. I want to, you know, add to it. Even back, back side of Depot Street, going down towards Shaw, there's some businesses kind of set back. You didn't realize the mm -hmm. buildings are back there. They're just out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Trying to encourage people to develop businesses down there. Sounds like a good project. Anybody have any other questions or concerns before we disband? Motion to adjourn. Any second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. We're out of here.